right, Joe. What is, what's that way? Germany. And Germany. what's that way? Belgium. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> so where are they going? Belgium, probably. <laughs> Netherlands! Deliberation as to which is the correct way. I have taken no responsibility over route finding whatsoever. How's it going Joe? Great. What's the sand like? Awesome. How's the tyre? Alright. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Sand. <laughs> well, where do you want to camp? Where where do you want to <laughs> I've told you next to a mountain and a waterfall. Um, where are we now? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's the question. Clive, where are we? So we've avoided corporate camping hell, and we've come to a um, it's called mini camping in Kleiner, America. Hence oh. all the RVs, I guess. <laughs> What's, uh, what are we not having for dinner, Clive? We're not having the shit Uncle Ben nonsense that he's cooking up for himself. We're having a beautifully fresh local cheese. Oh, this is actually from Italy. Uh, the crisps are... <laughs> crisp land. Crisp land. And we've got grapes from Grapesville. Noah, will you be eating with us this evening? Uh, I will, but there's no guarantee of being full with what Clive's bought. <laughs> Belgium. We made it all the way to Belgium from the England, past <laughs> the Holland, into the Belgium. And does it feel different? Um, I haven't tasted the beer yet, but I'm sure it'll be different in some way. Okay, we just went to Belgium, and something's wrong with my bike. It just died.
sleeping in a big tent. Which is handy seeing as there's a thunderstorm going on. Here we go. Right, what, what are we doing, Jim? We're attempting to order pizza on Just Eat Belgium. Is this, uh, is this like proper survivalist Trans Euro Trail like activities? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 this is what Bear Grylls would do. <laughs> <laughs> Pong area, but at least it's under cover, and they have a dryer. Um, there's some piss poor preparation which is preventing some proper performance, I think. <laughs> He's never, he never changes his air filter. His air filter's got blocked, funnily enough. He gives this air of authority with his, you know, balding head and grey beard. And <laughs> talking to the camera, not you. <laughs> and he's an idiot, an absolute idiot. <laughs> Basic maintenance, that's why we're stuck in a field. <laughs> and so, Joe, for the uh, more technically minded, that was a very good um, layman's exa uh, explanation. I know what's wrong with what it, happened. it's broken. Yeah, um, and for the more technically minded of us, uh, what's, what's going on? I don't, I don't think we've, we've identified the root cause yet, but I think if no one had a phone filter. It would be better than this, but you never changes. Oh, I'm really joking. I can't last minute you're talking about me. It sounded like somebody <laughs> so unlikely. None of the I never didn't recognise any of the characteristics. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, coming out of your mouth. Can you change your tyre? So, no, with, with, without any kind of. It's not a loaded question, but how, yeah. how does it feel that the, the, the red Honda sure. is. Uh, Humiliating, frankly, <laughs> absolutely humiliating. Never thought yeah, this would happen, happen to me. I now know what it's like for you guys. Day in, day out. <laughs> sure, I could. I don't know how you cope. It's given me a real appreciation of how you go through life. And I feel bad that I wasn't more sympathetic to it. <laughs> <laughs> Stay still, Clive. Stay still. No, I can't. Do that. You have such a haircut. Okay, one the tree. Will Will it start? Will it start? Hit the That's button. Go for it, no. It's a he. <laughs> He tried to look really cool oh, and no. failed. <laughs> that was genuinely, we didn't know whether that was going to start or not then, so thankfully it did. We're off. We do not need trailside assistance. Thank you, Tetters. Oh, yeah. We may Thank need some more before Sunday. More to come. <laughs> GP 
GPS map says go right. that way. The no entry signs say don't go that way. Hmm. Social media. That's right. That's right. No. <laughs> you can't hide from your, your social media feed. Are you having a nice day with Granny Liz? Yeah. Talk, I'm having a nice day. You're going to. She's, she's, she's just finished her dinner and I was just about to prepare a, ba a baby Sunday Good? Mm. What's in it? Custard. I guess it would be Two days? No, no, not really. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> where, well, first of all, where are we? France, near Dunkirk. And where? Uh, 388 miles of Belgium, Tet, and about 250 miles of Dutch, Dutch Tet. So, uh, how have you found it? Is it kind of what you expected? I think it's better than I expected, to be honest. I didn't, because Holland and Belgium are pretty damn flat, so I wasn't expecting, I thought it'd be a lot duller than it actually is, but in fact, I think the, the trails are, whilst they're not technical, rocky and steep, um, they're still quite varied from, you know, sandy, the sandy tracks in uh, Holland, which are a hoot, um, and you've got, you know, beautiful wooded trails, you've got sort of open, Farmland trails, so you know it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It's been really good fun. Okay, let's have a look at this air filter. That's 700 miles ish. Uh, I think it's good, so I think I'll probably leave it. Where are you, Clive? Yeah, you're going to Spain. We're about five minutes behind you. You're not here. <laughs> C roads. How did you feel about taking the 450 for 200 miles up the M1? 
not a problem. Get it so I'll, I'll manage. I am less enthusiastic about taking the 450. 200 miles up the M1. Ten pounds a night. We've got room. There's a bar and a restaurant just down there Oof. as well. Where are the others? Damn. Why? Wait. We we'll see. Why? What's happening? What's happening? We're not wild camping. No. Oh, okay. So what's the situation that we find ourselves in? Uh, we can go and wild camp and have a fire, make sausages, sing songs, <laughs> stay up till goodness knows when, talking, chatting, opening up. But. Uh, we're staying on the campsite. Is I want it it's wild it's and not, wilderness. It's not a holiday park, it's just a campsite. You're great. We've camped in a campsite every night this trip and I really want to do something a bit wild. What's, what's happening, Joe? This is the perfect time to end the ride. <laughs> Just when the sun's gone down, it's not quite dark yet, and still enough light to put your tent up. This is how every day should end. <laughs> <laughs> has, has it been a little bit adventurous this evening? No, this is just normal. This is this is normal. <laughs> this is as it should be. All right. So we went and we we tried to find somewhere to wild camp and it didn't really happen there was a grumpy farmer so and we lost Davy and so we said okay we'll meet you at Green Lane which is a street in Buxton but of course saying you'll meet someone at Green Lane when you're Green Lane <laughs> <laughs> outside Buxton somewhere, heading north, and Clive has had, I think now, well, we're going to call it his second puncture. Um, we don't know what the cause of this one is, because it's just been rocky ground. But, oh, so unlucky that he's had him again. I'm really gutted for him. Cunning. I suspect Clive didn't think of that. I think Joe or Davey probably thought of that. What are you doing now, Joe? After this? I don't know. Time to see the family. What are you doing after this, Davy? See my family. Time to see the family. Time to see the family. Miss them. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Oh, help, pal. Until, Until next, next time, brother. Yeah. Hasta la vista. Man hug. Au revoir. Oh, the belly's hit there, didn't it? I don't know if you're the belly. Oh, <laughs> <that's> man, <mate. laughs> To the north. <laughs> Look, 
crying, I've just got something in my eye. This is a bit dirty. Is it petrol? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness they've gone. A oh, couple of oints. <laughs> What's uh, just happened to the median age of the group? To the what? The median age of the group. Oh, yeah, it just shot up significantly. <laughs> <laughs> it's now it's now two gay fathers with their their adopted son. <laughs> we, Lucky uh, me. <laughs> right, let's go. Uh, well, we've got to this campsite, which would which looked fantastic on the website. Can't fault the website. There's a music festival going on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's quite busy, and it doesn't look. Like it's not going to, uh, doesn't look like it's going to calm down. But the nice, the lovely lady has given us directions to get to a lovely spot. Well, hopefully a lovely spot further on, down by a river. We're in the woods. <laughs> by a river. A place recommended to us by the wise woman of a place near Hempton Bridge. Mm. And are we going to stay here? I don't think so. There's quite a lot of footfall. Yeah, it's it's seem wise, really. Too many needles. And you don't mean the pine, <laughs> pine needles, needles, no? <laughs> pine needles. <laughs> What's happening? This is good. We're the only people on a fell side campsite that hasn't even opened yet and they're going to let us on, turn the hot water on. Flushing toilets, showers. I just bought a field and it looks like we got one. What's the crack? Where are we? What's going on? Uh, we're near Hebden Bridge and somehow Greg said there's a great campsite up here. I believe him, Clive didn't. And we rode down a dusty track and then we met a man with a gun and a nice lady and we asked her if there was a campsite and she said there was and then she said that she was the owner but they don't open until next week which is the best thing she could have possibly said. So now she's going to let us in, she's going to turn on hot water and we're going to have the place to ourselves with a great view. Traveled like I don't know, 1200, 1200 miles, miles yeah. all over Northern Europe. Europe. Shut up! Let no, me talk. no, no. It's better if I if I interrupt all the time. No. <laughs> Go on, carry on. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I got start again. I oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, the, so the thing that I really like about this is that we've traveled like 1200, 1300 miles all the way around um, Northern Europe in search of adventure and we've kind of had it but it's like it's really hard to like wild camp well you can't wild camp legally um, and we're doing this under like the, the Tet ethos which is important to stick by the rules and we got close but we didn't find it and so you end up in campsites and that's great and it's comfortable and it's warm well it's not warm but it's, it's you can have a shower and you can go to the toilet and all the rest of it but we've done this whole big trip and we've come back virtually to the start and we just happened to find on the last night uh, a camping ground that is essentially just a field, a farmer's field. There are sheep in the field, there's sheep poo in the field, there's a barn with a toilet in it. But most importantly, it's, we have permission to stay here and therefore there's this element of wilderness and uh, and yeah, just wild. And also Noel eating noisy crisps during my interview. Shut up, Noel. <laughs> but anyway, and we are literally a, probably maybe three miles away from Adventure Spec, uh, which is just quite apt, really. Uh, and I can finish this trip happily. I was frustrated that there was just a sense of, it was a little sanitised uh, and I like that we've managed to sleep in a field full of poo. <laughs> <laughs>
And to make the point, I am I am even going to sleep in a field full of poo. Not in a tent, but in my bivy bag that no. I have brought all the way around Europe and finally get to use just as I get home. Thank you.